From ghosts to fairies to monsters that live in the forest, humans seem obsessed with proving or disproving the existence of the unexplained. In most cases, our logical side knows it's all ridiculous, but there is that shred of belief that keeps us fascinated and hoping it's true. The majority of creatures and phenomenon that we become obsessed with are often based in little more than folk tales and urban legends. In these cases, stories and evidence are fueled 100% by our imaginations. But what about those monsters and creatures who are based on fact? They may not be readily visible today, but there is strong scientific and historic evidence that shows they did exist many years ago. This is the case with the legendary Megalodon, a sea creature shrouded in mystery whose existence is fueled almost annually by a certain television channel's focus on Shark Week. As its name suggests, the Megalodon was massive, and given the public love of all things shark, it's understandable why we were obsessed with it. While it lived long before any of us were around, there are more than a few people who swear the Megalodon still lurks in the deep of the world's oceans. What is the Megalodon? Living over two million years ago, the Megalodon was the king of the ocean predators. Large and powerful, fossilized evidence and expert research suggests that sea creatures could grow up to about 18 meters in length, with some assumptions that it could potentially be twice that length. With a jaw that could measure over 2 meters in width and contain over 270 teeth, Megalodons were a killing machine. For the prey it couldn't swallow whole, it's hard to imagine anything escaping a devastating bite from its 7-inch razor-sharp teeth. Yes, in comparison to today's great white shark, which usually grows to about 6 or 7 meters in length, the Megalodon was the undisputed king of the ocean. No sea life was safe from the supersized shark since it lived and hunted in every major body of water across the planet. Surely, with such a presence and the fact that it was on the top of the food chain, this great ocean dweller could potentially still be around today. Experts are pretty firm on the idea that the monster predator is long extinct, but this hasn't stopped more than a few people from suggesting the Megalodon could be dwelling deep in the oceans. The Case 4 Despite scientific evidence to the contrary, there is a noticeable group of people who believe the Megalodon still roams our waters. While experts believe that the Megalodon went extinct over two million years ago, sightings of massive sharks within the last few hundred years have fueled speculation. For instance, from Mexico to Polynesia and Indonesia, fishermen reportedly told stories of encounters with sharks that were over 20 meters or more in length. While some reports are often written off as an overactive imagination and exaggeration, believers say the number and type of sightings is more than a coincidence. Then and there is the more tangible proof that some use as evidence to say the megalodon could still exist. Biologists often measure the bite marks on whale carcasses to figure out the size of the sharks that attacked them. In the 1970s, one bite mark was measured which came in from an 8 meter long attacker. Sure, it's nowhere near the reported size of the megalodon, but its size suggested that the average 6 to 7 meter long great white may not be the biggest predator in the ocean. Finally, there is the point that science and experts don't always get it right. Biologists once believed that a fish known as the coelacanth went extinct 65 million years ago. Then, in 1938 and again in 1952, examples of this fish were actually caught. It turns out that coelacanths live at great depths and often hide in valleys and caves, but they do continue to exist. Those who believe in the continued existence for the megalodon suggest this slips open the door further to the possible existence of the super shark. For those of us who are overly optimistic, all of this suggests there just could be a few megalodon lurking in the world's waters. Now, the case against. Scientists are all certain that not a single megalodon exists today. Sure, these experts have numerous degrees from school and have spent their lives working with life underwater, but what's their real proof, you may ask? Experts argue that species that do exist leave some sort of trail. For instance, current sharks shed their teeth and leave carcasses that wash up on shore when they die. Even squids, which live in the darkest depths of the ocean, provide proof of existence when they wash up. There have been no cases of new megalodon teeth being found or massive megalodon carcasses washing up on any beach anywhere. Yes, extremely large great white sharks have washed up on shore and very large bite marks have appeared on whale carcasses, but these do not prove that Megalodon exists, only that there are some bigger than average great whites around. Finally, biologists are certain that changes in the world's environment millions of years ago sealed the fate of the massive Megalodon. They cite dropping sea levels, colder temperatures, and an eventual decline in the food supply as factors which contributed to the demise of the Megalodon. Specifically, as whales migrated to colder polar regions, the bulk of the Megalodon population found itself with without enough food in its favored tropical dwellings, leading to its eventual extinction. Even if the creatures were still alive today, their food source would be found close to the surface, requiring the megalodon to hunt in areas where it would be highly visible, similar to the great white shark. The final verdict. Humans still remain in the dark about a lot of what happens in our oceans. So much remains to be explored and we seem to continuously be running into undiscovered species all the time. All of this provides a bit more hope to those who really want to believe a monstrous 50-ton shark lives on. 
Realistically, the facts suggest the Megalodon has gone the way of the dodo. Those videos and pictures leaked online have all been proven fake or forgery, and the plain truth remains that significant changes in the world millions of years ago likely made it too difficult for the massive Megalodon to live on. Does the Megalodon still exist? Hard evidence suggests no, but as with many legendary creatures, there is always that little bit of doubt to keep the door open for the most imaginative and optimistic amongst us. So, what do you think? We want to hear what you have to say in the comments. And while you're here, here's a couple other videos we think you might be into. And please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks!